Student T test for two independent or unpaired or unrelated samples in Excel. The student T test is performed when there are two groups of data and the data in each group should be normally distributed and the variances for both group should be equal. So the student T test is a parametric test and two major or main assumptions that have to be fulfilled to use the student T test. The first one is normality distribution of the data in each group. The second assumption is the equal of variances. In this Excel sheet, I had inserted a data for two groups. The first group is the male group and the second group is the female groups. The height for each participant was measured in centimeter and uh, the score is reported here. To find out whether there is a difference in the uh, uh, height between males and females, then the student T test will be performed as we have here uh, 50 participant in the male group and 50 participant in the females groups and the uh, normal distribution for each of this group has been tested and the data are normally distributed and there are uh, two classes of student t test uh, student t test with the equal variances and student t test without equal variances before performing the statistical analysis the student t test i will perform a few steps the first step is to look at the descriptive statistics for each group and to do that you need to click on the data and then click on the data analysis if the data analysis icon is not inserted uh, or loaded into the excel the way to do that is to click on file and then scroll down to more and then click on options and in the options window click on add in scroll down into manage and then tick on Excel add in and then click on this uh, um, tool pack which is analysis tool pack and then click on OK an icon will appear here to uh, check the uh, descriptive for the data here click on data analysis then a window will appear and have a pre-installed and preset few statistical test one of them will be descriptive statistics click on that and then take ok and a new window will be generated and to look at the descriptive statistics for group male group first of all select the data here the whole data for the male group and then select the output option and let's place it somewhere here and then tick on summary statistics and click on OK. A table is generated showing few parameters for this data, the mean, the standard deviation and the variance. The mean for the male height is 169.4 and the variance is 110.5. To perform the same analysis descriptive statistics for the female or females group, click on data analysis, click on descriptive statistics, click on OK and then select the range of the data in this case for the females and then select the output options to place the descriptive uh, statistics and then 
keep the summary statistics ticked on select this cell for the output and then click on ok a table for descriptive statistics is produced and from this table the mean for the female groups is 160.4 and the variance is 86.07 from this initial observation there is a difference between the mean for males compared to females and the males have a higher height compared to females based on the mean but yet it is not determined whether the, this difference is significant we could also observe that the variance for the male group is 110 and the variance for the female group is 86 to determine whether there is an equal variances or an unequal variances there are two ways the first way is to use the roll of thumb and the roll of thumb is based on dividing the variance value for the highest or the highest variance value for the group divided by the lowest variance for the second group and if this ratio is less than four then there is an equal variances and we can presume that there is approximately equal variances here if we divide the value for the largest score for the variance by the smallest variance and it is 1.2 so it is less than 1.28 less than 4 so we could with confidence say that these two groups of data have an approximate equal variances the other way to determine whether there is equal variances or not just before doing the t-test is to click on data analysis then scroll down and tick the and select tick and select the if test for two samples for variances click on ok and then select the range for the input for variable one in this case is the male male uh, group and for the variable two range which is the female or females group then select the output options and let's place the output in this cell here and if we click on ok a table is generated as shown here and it shows the mean for the first group the mean for the second group the variance for the first and the second group and it gives you a ratio f ratio of 1.8 1.28 and a p value of greater than 0.05 when the p value is greater than 0.05 then this indicate that the two variances are approximately equal so in, so far we have checked that these two groups of data have equal variances then the next step is to do the student t test with equal variances to determine whether there is a significant differences between the two groups and the way to do that click on data analysis and then scroll down and select the uh, options or the statistical analysis which is t test two samples assuming equal variances click on ok a new window appears and then insert the input for the first variable range which is the male variable 
uh, and then the second variable range which is the female and then select the uh, yeah here we need to insert the hypothesized mean difference which is zero so the null hypothesis states that the difference between the male mean is equal to the female mean or the difference between males and females mean is zero and the alternative hypothesis states that the mean for the males is different from the mean for the females and then uh, tick on the output options and select a place to insert the uh, output analysis and if you click on ok a table is generated as shown here in this area and with certain parameters are given and uh, if we just enlarge this as shown here the t-test for two samples or two samples assuming equal variances the mean is given here for the first group the male group the female group the variance for the male group and for the female groups and the degree of freedom is given here and the t statistical value is generated which is 4.5 and from the mean here we can see that the uh, males have a higher height compared to females and also the table gives here a p-value for one tail and for two tails and in our case here since we are looking for differences then we will stick to the two tail uh, p-value and as shown here the p-value is less than 0.0001 so it's less than 0.05 this p-value indicates that there is a significant difference between the male height compared to female height this is the way to perform t-test for unpaired independent or unrelated two samples in excels with equal variances.